Ladies and gentlemen, confessions. Um, now, confessions tonight concern my love life. Oh! And, ladies and gentlemen, and. Now, now the thing is this, a lot of people have asked me to talk about the first time that I nearly got married, that I nearly got tracked into marriage, and that I will do tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I can remember it very vividly, because uh, it was a morning in 1950. Was it the afternoon? It could have been, no, shut your faces a minute. It could have been, shut your face. Hey, please, please, I must have shush. I will have shush. No. It could have been, I don't know what happened was here, you'd have died. My lawyer came round to me, my lawyer, and actually it was a man from the Prue, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> and yes, and he said, we, we've got some very good news for you, he said. Very good news, yes, he said. Um, we've been able to discover who your father was. And so... <laughs> I told you these were going to be confessions, didn't I? Yes. And he said, now, <clears throat> unfortunately, he said, your father passed away in a French brothel, he said. <laughs> in a state of intestacy. <laughs> so, I said, well, that's the main thing. As long as he was happy, as long as he was happy. <laughs> and he said, he's left you, he's left you 214 pounds, 13 shillings, and fourpence, he said. And a note, a note saying that if you don't get married, you cannot have it. You see? <laughs> the money, I mean. So, so I thought to myself, Francis, Francis, I thought, you must have a bash. You must force yourself, because after all, Francis, you are skint, you see. And so, of course, I had two things going for me. First of all, of course, my good looks. And secondly, <laughs> shut your faces, please. <laughs> and secondly, a flat. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> what I did, I started to date a widow, because they're so grateful, aren't they, widows? <laughs> and, uh, yes. And I, I got the, I just, I got the widow. The widow was provided <coughs> by a computer, a dating service. And this computer dating service provided me with a widow, a lady suited to my sweet, lovable, gentle, <laughs> sexy person. <laughs> ah, here she is. Yes, she is. Yes. Yes, yes, she is. Bang on time. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and the right old banger, she looks like she is. <laughs> yes, go in, dear. Yes, dear. Well, 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 now. How nice to see you. May I, uh, may I unveil you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Inflation came in earlier than you think, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, I beg your pardon. You're back. I beg your pardon. That's all right. Do sit down. Now, let me see now. Where can we place you? I think this will contain you. Won't you sit down? That's right. Do esconce yourself by all means. There we are. Now, um, now, tell me, what can I... Can I get you anything? A bowl of cornflakes, perhaps? <laughs> mug of cocoa? <laughs> Uh, no, I won't take anything at the moment, thank you. Oh, uh, yes. Well, the night is young, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think of the political situation? Um, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you want sex now or later? Well, <laughs> I thought... If there's, uh, if there's nothing on the telly, we could climb on the shop pub. Well, I, I'm terribly sorry. You see, I've, I've not been on one of these arranged things oh, before. I, see. I thought one was supposed to say that sort of thing. Ah, yes. Yes, of course. You're... No, I, I didn't mean that. Oh. I, I meant what I said about... Uh, yeah, the... uh, well, it doesn't matter. Yes, of course. Yes. Um, yes. Oh. We're getting on like a house on fire, aren't we? I wish to God the house was on fire. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she found a 
life out of me because you tried to kneel that chest here. Well, I, I took the liberty of bringing a few things. You oh. see, I thought I might be able to cook us a meal later on. Oh. You see, I'm a very good cook, Mr. Oh, Howard. You? Well, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bumblebee. Um, oh, I beg your pardon. Mrs. Um, Ample. <laughs> It'll be, it'll be, um, it, no, it'll be ample be, Miss, oh, never mind. <laughs> it was only a little joke. I was going to try and do, it doesn't really matter so much. I'll just go in the kitchen with a little food. If you'll excuse me a trice, thank you so much. Good. At least I'll get a free nosh out of this, if nothing else. <laughs> yes. Pussy, got free. Puss, puss, puss. Listen. Yes. Got free. I'm going to eat food tonight, real food. So you can have your supper back. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Humpleby. Mrs. Humpleby, you don't know what it means to a bachelor like myself to have a decent meal. Why do we shut ourselves away in our own little worlds, Mr. Howard, and suffer so? Why is there so much loneliness? That's right, and so much pen <laughs> I know what that's like, you know. My first husband died in testing. <laughs> There's so much of it about, isn't there? <laughs> and I've lost a couple since then. <laughs> she hasn't, has she? Since my operation. <laughs> Lord, behind me, look at that. I know what it is to be bereft. <laughs> Oh, well, you know something? I think when they're in that condition, it's the best place for them, I believe. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, well, there we are. Stop! Meanwhile, at the same time, a man has been held up by the traffic lights at Cobbler's Corner. <laughs> one who's been caught round about the cobblers finds it very difficult to move. <laughs> now, back on the sofa. Yes. Oh, now, come along now. Do be so bold as to call me by my maiden name, Francis. <laughs> yes. Oh, Francis, that's nice. Isn't it nice? Yes. yes, yes. And you may call me Nelly. Uh, Nelly? <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> I mean, do I have to tell you how nice it is to have you here? <laughs> Uh, what lovely hands you have protruding at the ends of your arms. Well, they're pianist's hands, Are Francis. They? Yes, I play the piano. You don't. I do. You don't. I do, I do. Do you have a piano? No, I don't, I don't. Oh, but I don't. <laughs> no, I, you didn't, you didn't. Oh. oh, what a pity. No. I'm going to plight my troth. I can't have her plunking when I'm plighting. <laughs> now, do sit down, won't you, again? Now, where was we? Well, I was telling you about my play. Oh, yes, your play. <laughs> well, wouldn't you like to see my fingering? <laughs> <laughs> if, if it was only anybody else, eh? <laughs> wouldn't you like a little tinkle? Oh, I just had one. <laughs> I mean, I would have had one had I had the wherewithal to have one with, but I couldn't have one because I didn't have the discrepancy to have one of the... Because, you see, I haven't got a piano. Do you understand? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Nah. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Chopin's <laughs> polonaise. Ah, yes. What else? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pity you can't hear the music. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I know the mayonnaise intimately, don't worry. <laughs> you have cramp? <laughs> no, no, would you mind turning over the music? Oh, yes. Ah, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. There we are. Thank you. <laughs> <Not a t> <laughs> You don't read music. Not really. In fact, I scarcely know my aria from my oboe. <laughs> Take pity on him, poor devil. He's trying to get himself mated, you see. He's never had a mate before. Ah, but hope springs eternal in the human breast. Oh, you've never seen springs in the human breast before. It's good up here. Oh, it's gone now. What a damn shame. But... 
What has this got to do with my story? I hear you ask. Well, I reply. If you shut your gobs and pay attention to this, you may find out. Which reminds me of what the bishop said to the actress. Now, my dear, I'm going to give it to you straight. <laughs> you sir. We uh, don't want to go to prison, do we, Mrs. Palethorpe? So let's talk about why we keep poisoning our husbands, shall we? Mm? There you are, you see. Mrs. Palethorpe poisons her husbands. No trouble with that, is there? But here is where the trouble is. <laughs> oh, 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 Nelly! Nelly! Please, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away. Yes. Well, you've proved your point. You play the coffee table beautifully. Yes. Yes. Would you care for a nibble? Oh, yes! No, no, please. <laughs> I mean, would you like a fry-up in the kitchen? I mean. Well, music always affects me. Yes. Way. God help us. <laughs> it's like cuddling two bad cases of mumps, isn't it? Nelly! Nelly! Push off! Oh, she hurt me. <laughs> oh, Nelly, what fools we are to think. We could do this more often. We could do it every night, you and I. If only we were... You mean... Yes! If only we were married. No. Married. Well, it's... It's very sweet of you, Francis, but I... I really don't know, you see. I've been hurt so many times before. Look, I'm asking you to marry me, not go ten rounds with me. <laughs> well, I, I really don't know. Oh, Nelly, we have so much to offer each other. Yes, I mean, you can cook and play the coffee table. And I, I can provide the fortune. I mean, the furniture. You understand? Oh, yes. Say you'll marry me. Say you'll marry me. Let me force you to marry me. Well, I'll have to have time to think. Yes. Yes, I will. At last. <laughs> After all this time, I forced you to marry me. I never thought this would happen to me again. Uh, oh, my heart is starting to pound. Yes. Can't you feel it pound? <laughs> I can feel about 20 pounds. <laughs> Not to mention the 214 pounds, 13 shillings and four pence. Oh, Nelly, let's celebrate. Let's yes. celebrate you and I, huh? Yes. yes. You can cook a meal, and I, yay, I, will open a bottle of Cydrax. Oh, kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me first, Francis. I kiss can't me. now. I'm going to feed the cat, you see. Oh, no, Francis. Now? Yes. All right. Go. You'll have to catch me. Go, Francis. <laughs> That's all I need, a shy nymphomaniac. <laughs> Welcome back to part three. Now, we didn't show you part two because the driver spent all his time praying by the traffic lights and I spent all my time chasing round the room. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. dear. Oh, I've been chasing round this room about 140 times. Oh, please, just to give her a kiss. Precious, precious. Where the hell are you? I'm under here. Oh, then I'll have to give it to you under there. <laughs> ah, there you are. You've got an upright, how could you? <laughs> And it isn't easy bending down like this. I bent an upright piano. There was I trying to show you my playing, and all the time you had a piano. Is this a piano? This is a piano. Lies and deceit. Oh. You're just like all the others. Well, the engagement's off. The engagement's off. You twist and cheat a poor girl's heart. You're only after my body. <laughs> Without a harpoon, I should cope. <laughs> Nelly! Oh, Nelly, look, I'm sorry. Look, I must confess to you. Well, it's about time. Yes, well, I haven't been honest. I must confess that I was looking forward to having a meal. I haven't had a, a good meal for a long time. And after all, you did promise to cook for me, didn't you? Well, I know I said I would cook for you, That's but... right, you see. And Godfrey and I would be so appreciative. Godfrey? Godfrey, my little puss puss, my little pussycat. Look at him there. Pale and wan. You see, he's so underfed. Oh, the poor little thing. 
Yes. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Good old Godfrey. <laughs> I don't understand what exactly happened. Well, in 1927, my father died. Not you, Mrs. Pilthorpe, matron. Mrs. Pilthorpe locked me in the laundry room and escaped. Well, that's it. Mrs. Pilthorpe? I don't understand. This is Mrs. Pilthorpe. No, that's Mrs. Umpleby. They changed names. She probably helped her escape. They're a cunning lot in here, Doctor. You've got to watch them. Well, you didn't watch them, did you? And now we have a convicted poisoner on the loose. And no idea where she is. Wish me luck as you wave me goodbye. Nelly! 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 It smells delicious. What is it? Chili con carne ah. with the peppers and a little white wine and some garlic. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Could I give a whimsy to my little puss puss Godfrey? Uh, yes, of course. He hasn't dined out in weeks. No. <laughs> there you are, Godfrey. There you are, puss puss. That will put glue on your paws, won't it, eh? <laughs> You'll be out on the tiles tonight, won't you? Which is another thing you haven't had in weeks, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Poor little puss puss. <laughs> ah, Nelly. What a blissful scene this is. I'm blissed out of my mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nelly, there's just you and me and the pussy. And one day when we're married, I'll buy you a pussy of your own. And every Tuesday night about eight o'clock, we'll sit on the settee and I'll stroke your pussy <laughs> out of your mind. Please! You're ruining this lovely love scene. Don't be common, don't show us our food. You're making me a laughing stop now. Does Godfrey want some more? Oh, no, thank you very much, dear. When he wolfs it down like that, it gives him the wind. <laughs> Come along, Godfrey. Come along. Outside. There we are. There we are. Oh, God, what a windy meow. <laughs> Well, that was the police. They've got her criminal record. Apparently, our Mrs. Palethorpe, alias Mrs. Umpleby, selects her victims from boarding houses, Derby and Joan clubs, and dating services. They're tracing the leads now. I don't know how she hooks them, sir. She's got no looks at all. Ah, she has one irresistible attraction, Perkins. Her cooking, it's fantastic. I just hope nobody's eating it now, that's all. <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, delicious, delicious. Mm. Well, you know what they say, Francis? The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes. <laughs> You've got the right road with the wrong destination. <laughs> now, let me take these dishes into the kitchen. I must get used to a little domesticity, mustn't I? Here we are, man. There. There's the kitchen. Oh, my God. Pussy. You're dead. <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> what have they done to you? You're dead all over. Oh! Godfrey, my little puss puss. My companion in arms. Look at you dead. Oh, poor Godfrey. Neutered, knackered, and novel. <laughs> oh, my little puss puss. We've been through so much together. We've shed everything our joys. Our pains, our sufferings, our food, our one weekend in Budley Salterton. Oh, Godfrey. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, dead, dead. Oh, get on with it, for goodness sake. Oh, such a face, you. You can do better. Come down here and do it. Bloody cheek. Where was we? Oh, yes. Godfrey, you're dead. What did you do? I mean, you had some food. And then... What? <laughs> so did I, didn't I? Oh, dear. That old bag in there. She said she buried three husbands. It's the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <gasps> it's halfway down my stomach already. Oh, God! Oh, God! You know what this is, don't you? This is lace snicker old ass all over again. <laughs> What have you done, eh? What did you put in that food? Well, you don't catch me like that, Francis. My recipe's a secret, remember? I should think it is. <laughs> Poor Godfrey, what have you done? You've, you've, you've nobbled him, you have. What? Yes, you have. <laughs> what do you put in that food? Ground glass. Ground glass? Yes. Ground glass? I have never used ground glass. Not even on the others. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Travis! You poison all your husbands. Oh, you Victor Borgia, you. You really are. Yes, yes, got it. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I've got it all now. She picked up a date with a Mr. Howard at this address. I'll get the car, sir. Yes, I'll get a stomach pump and some neutralizer. <laughs> if only I could remember if I'd poisoned you or not. Oh, God, my stomach. The knives. I feel, oh, I feel, like, oh, and, and everything, oh. It's all in my, I'm, oh, dear, I'm coming over all unnecessary. I, I'm, oh, woman, hence, hence to the sideboard. And bring me a glass of peppermint. Yes. Uh, here it is. Here, a common entry prayer for someone on the verge of death. <laughs> oh, Almighty God! Oh, that silly cow! <laughs> I said a glass of peppermint, not the last testament. Oh. What's that? What's that? <laughs> ah, Mrs. Painforth, yes. I presume. Yes. Watch her, Perkins. Oh, again. I just hope we're in time, that's yes. all. Get a bowl. I'll get one. Keep your eye on her. Stand oh, up, Mr. Hyde. Please stand up. Stand up, oh, stand stand up. please. <laughs> now I'm going to shove this in your mouth and start pumping. In the mouth, yes. <laughs> it's not very nice. No. And now, drop your trousers. Oh, God. <laughs> Both ends at once, son. Oh, dear. I'll take that if you don't mind, Mrs. Pelcock. So you had to go to the cat as well this time. Oh, no, no, no! Keep walking, Mr. Howard, please. Keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, Come oh, on. Francis. Keep walking. It must have been my cooking. Is this your note, sir? No, what note? Give me that. What note? Dear Mr. Howard. Yes, that's me, dear Mr. Howard. I've returned your cat to you. Cat? Cat, as it had the address on the collar. And in case you want to give it a decent burial. I'm very sorry, I was kept waiting at the traffic light so long, I drove too fast afterwards and ran over it. <laughs> Yours, a fellow cat lover. Cat lover? You see, Francis, it wasn't my fool. No, it wasn't after all. Oh, poor God. Oh, poor God. He did so love my rum barber. Yes. Do try some. What, your rum barber? <laughs> Not on your Nelly Nelly. <laughs> So now you know why we kept showing you that driver at the traffic lights. He was the twit that ran over my cat. The cat wasn't poisoned at all. Oh, uh, and I didn't get my 214 pounds, 13 shillings and fourpence. Poor Francis. Well, as for marriage, you can stick it up the aisle. <laughs> Thank you.